Question 1.9, which one of the following is applicable to an electrolytic cell? And the correct answer there is D, a battery is used for the cell to function. Option A is incorrect because reduction takes place at the cathode, not the anode. Option B is incorrect because oxidation takes place at the anode, not the cathode. And option C is incorrect because direct current is required for an electrolytic cell. Question nine reads, the electrolytic cell below is set up to obtain pure copper from a piece of impure copper. The impure copper contains other metals such as platinum, iron, cobalt, silver, and nickel. The cell potential of the power source is adjusted so that only copper is deposited on electrode. Question 9.1, define an electrolytic cell. And the definition according to the guideline document is a cell in which electrical energy is converted into chemical energy. Question 9.2, write down the formula of a suitable electrolyte for the cell. And there were a number of options available, but all of them were supposed to be or should have been some kind of soluble copper salt. So the obvious or common answers would have been copper sulfate, copper nitrate, or copper chloride. But theoretically, it could be any copper salt that is soluble in water. Question 9.3, which electrode, A or B, is the cathode? Write down the relevant half reaction taking place at this electrode. And we go back to the original question that tells us that copper is deposited on electrode B. So since copper is deposited on electrode B, we know that copper being deposited implies that that half reaction is the reduction half reaction where copper is gaining electrons. And so if that is happening on electrode B, where we have reduction, we remember with the device red cat that reduction always happens at the cathode. So in answer to question 9.3, which electrode A or B is the cathode? The answer is B. And the relevant half reaction taking place at this electrode, we write down the half reaction in which copper is reduced. So we start with copper two plus ions. It gains two electrons. It is written as only a forward reaction here, and that forms copper. Question 9.4, sludge forms below one of the electrodes while the cell above is in operation. Which of the metals, platinum, iron, cobalt, nickel, or silver, will be present in the sludge? We answer this question in two ways. Firstly, by seeing that all of these metals are present in the original impure copper. Now, some of those metals are going to be oxidized while copper is being oxidized because some of those metals occur or have higher or an increased reducing ability. And so, for example, iron, cobalt, and nickel will also be oxidized along with the copper and will therefore go into solution. So we will have copper ions in solution, we will have iron ions in solution, we will have nickel ions in solution, and we will have cobalt ions in solution. What we can find though is that there are two metals that do not become oxidized, that are not oxidized because they have a lower reducing ability than copper. And those two metals are platinum and silver. And so these two metals, platinum and silver, would not be oxidized, but would maintain their metallic form and would simply fall to the bottom of the solution, which then forms that sludge. So the correct answer to question 9.4 was platinum and silver. Once again, the reason being that some of those metals are oxidized because they have a higher reducing ability than copper, and the only two that do not have a higher reducing ability, therefore do not join the solution, like copper, nickel, iron, and cobalt, are platinum and silver. And those simply sink to the bottom of the solution to form the sludge. This question, when marked according to the marking guidelines, is fairly straightforward. The two marks are awarded for our definition, where we know that electrical energy being converted into chemical energy is electrolysis. 
a suitable electrolyte, as we said, any copper salt that is soluble in water for identifying the electrode as the cathode, where we know that reduction takes place at the cathode, and so since copper is being built up on electrode B, that means that electrode B is our cathode, and we need to once again write that half reaction as only a forward reaction in order to get the two marks for that half reaction. And then finally, we were given a hint in that this was a two mark allocation for this question. And so there was one mark for each of the two metals that forms the sludge, platinum and silver.